Who's a good dog? Are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? This is Rosie. I think the last time she's been on the channel, she was just a puppy. So she's a good three years old now. She's a big dog. Bit my uncle the other day. Anyway, what's up, guys? Evil here. January 4th, 2016. Uh, just an update. Wanted to say Happy New Year's. Um, let you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking. Um, some of you guys may know that I'm writing for Big Squid RC um, and doing projects for them. Keeps me uh, pretty busy, so uh, not doing as much uh, of stuff on my own as I used to. Um, but I am still doing stuff. Um, just going to show you a couple projects I got going on the bench. Um, and it's going to start a build series uh, for my newest project. So. So I just finished up with this. This was a, a drift car build um, I did for Big Squid. Uh, we reviewed this kit. It's called a Bulldog D9. Um, just wrapped that up the other day. Um, still got to shoot some video for it, but uh, the reviews out there on Big Squid RC. If you search for my name out there, the new hot project I'm really excited about right now. Um, is this giant pile of parts um so a while back um i think it was probably almost a year ago now um uh harley howard and i were recording rc car cast we were talking to eddie from crawler innovations and he pulled out a solid axle ar60 monster truck from that day forward i've wanted to build one um, but just haven't had the means or the time so um, the new year is here, the time is now, so uh, this is the beginnings of that project. So uh, essentially have some stock AR-60 axles which came off of this spawn um, that I built for Big Squid. So we're going to base on those axles. Um, picked up an AX-10 deadbolt chassis which turns out to be a perfect monster truck chassis. Um, axial posted on their blog a few weeks ago um, essentially how to build a monster truck out of their stuff so um, that's what I'm doing um, and usually on my bench here I'm in some state of build I'm actually in a state of teardown at the moment this is my um, AX10 Scorpion Sportsman Comp Crawler which um, Comp is unfortunately uh, dead in my location so I am uh, stealing parts off of this be still in the gears um, and the shocks. I already pulled the transmission out. Um, I ordered a set of HD gears. Uh, we're going to do a Vanquish uh, aluminum transmission, um, MIP drive shafts uh, to really beef up the drivetrain of this monster truck. This thing's going to be fast. I'm trying to keep it light with a lot of plastic, uh, very little aluminum. So my uh, transmission case will be aluminum to stop any flex to keep from shearing gears. Um, and then, of course, the Vanquish Stage 1 uh, Wraith Kit uh, to keep it solid on all four corners. Uh, I'm going to be doing Vanquish uh, VVDs. Um, these are Yeti uh, rear links. Um, these are what people are using to build axial-based monster trucks. So I'm uh, going to be sourcing those. Really, really, really stoked about this build. So uh, it's now in full motion. Um, have a set of the new Proline, uh, what are they called? Dominator, Destroyer, I can't remember. The new Proline Monster Truck tire looks really scale. Have a set of those in order. I am anxiously awaiting for their new um, uh, Clod Buster wheel, essentially, that'll fit um, these hexes, um, which has really been a big hang up uh, with uh, you know building monster trucks uh, based off of axial stuff. So. Once that comes out, it'll be, you know, complete. I still haven't decided on a body. I'm kind of a Ford guy, so I may do another 79 Ford. I may do something newer. Um, that uh, Proline, is it Proline or HPI? They make a Raptor that I kind of like, so I might do that. So anyway, these that's the beginnings of that build. 
So anyway, along the lines of this monster truck build stuff, a friend of mine, Doug Welker, out in St. Louis, um, started a monster truck racing lane called Trigger King RC. Um, if you want to check it out, you can head out to TriggerKing.com um, or just search uh, Trigger King RC um, out on Facebook to join the group. Um, he started a pretty cool league, um, and some of the races and stuff take places um, or take place at uh, like the monster or the Bigfoot shop and whatnot in the St. Louis area. So that's kind of cool. So hopefully um, this summer when this thing gets done, um, maybe me and Howard will head out there to one of the summertime events at the shop and we'll get some video and stuff out there. Um, but anyway, if you want to see video of all the crazy rigs and stuff running um, already, you can just hit up their Facebook page. He's, uh, he's always posting videos out there. So hopefully mine will be on there in the coming months. Um, over here um, is working on what I'm working on for Vanquish. Um, these are the new... Curry F9s for the SCX10, um, as well as their four link kit, um, knuckles, and VVDs. These are going to go on this um, completely stock SCX10. So it's got stock links and everything, so this thing will be pretty thoroughly beefed up. Um, so look for that in the coming weeks. I'm actually getting ready to crack in all this stuff tonight and uh, start shooting. So anyway, that's it. Just a quick update on what's going on. Um, next video series, again, coming is on the monster truck build. Um, I have some transmission parts uh, on order, so as we start to bolt together, we'll do a quick little video on that. So anyway, just wanted to say hi, uh, happy new year. Um, congratulations to Harley, who uh, got hired on at Vanquish. He's moved from the Kansas City area out to Sacramento, so big move for him and his uh, uh, wife to be um, so uh, congratulations to those guys and uh, kind of a bummer to lose him around here but you know you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do when you're stepping up to the big time so congratulations to him it's actually pretty cool uh, because I'll be working directly with him now on stuff so it'll make life easier in that respect so I'm probably just gonna have to deal with Howard hanging out my house a little bit more <laughs> since he won't be at Josh's garage all the time wrenching on his stuff. So anyway, that's it. Thanks guys, happy new year. Um, catch you on the next video.